Here is a list of the most compelling comments we've received in the last five days. Want to get in on it? Leave a constructive and positive comment below to increase your chances, and we'll choose the best ones. A woman with no uterus finally became a mother. Kitty Cunningham, an operations director from Nottingham, was in seventh heaven when sitting in the birthing pool and helping deliver the baby she thought she could never have. When she was 16, the doctor said to Kitty something she could never forget. She had been born with no womb and thus will never be able to have her own kids. But today she can't believe her happiness. She's a mother to a little son called Jasper. Moreover, she has become best friends with a surrogate who made her biggest dream come true. Kitty once said, My husband said when he was 20 he'd rather have me with no babies than babies with someone else. Now he's got both. It's just the most incredible feeling. Everything started when she was diagnosed with mayor rokitansky custer hauser syndrome, a disorder in which the girl's uterus is absent or underdeveloped. There are only 1 in 5,000 women in the UK who suffer from this syndrome. Kitty had ovaries to produce eggs but no uterus to carry the baby. Luckily, Kitty and her husband, James, 31, a sales director, met Gemma Black, 34. Gemma was a full-time mom who became their surrogate and made Kitty's dream of motherhood come true. The couple instantly got on well with the woman. Since Gemma was pregnant with another couple's baby at the time, she'd waited for three months after delivering a baby and offered Kitty her help. Kitty couldn't believe it was happening to her. She agreed, and in January, Gemma got pregnant with their baby via IVF. At 3.43 a.m. on October 4th, at home in Birmingham, the surrogate gave birth to a little boy called Jasper, with overjoyed parents supporting her. Recalling vividly her teenage shock, Kitty says she didn't fully realize the whole thing when doctors told her the only way she could ever have her own kids was through surrogacy. It's a very adult thing to be worrying about at that age. I was 16 and still hadn't started my period, so doctors did a bit more investigating and they told me I didn't have a womb. It was a shock and it was confusing and scary. It's probably the worst time to find something like that when you're a teenager. You're dealing with lots of hormones anyway. You're made to think about what it might be like not to have a family when that should be the last thing on your mind and you shouldn't be worrying about it quite yet. You just sort of have to accept it, but you don't think about how the intimate details of it all works. You just don't look too much into it. I just parked it. But when Kitty met James five years ago, everything changed. They both realized they wanted to have a baby. After a year of research, they plucked up the courage and decided to find a surrogate in September 2018. They met Gemma at a meet and greet event organized by Surrogacy UK just two months later. Its aim was to acquaint the intended parent with the surrogates and help them hit it off. At that time, the woman already had three kids and was pregnant. All three palled up and in 10 months, Gemma became their surrogate. Kitty said, a natural friendship blossomed. When Gemma called to say she'd help, for the first time ever I felt hopeful. When we were getting married, people were obsessed with saying that classic thing of, ooh, when are you gonna have babies? Which was an awkward and upsetting conversation for me to have at the time. We got used to saying, I don't have a woman, we'll need to use a surrogate, but it was always said quite emptily. It was a thing you could say to people so it sounded like you had a plan, but we didn't really have a plan. Six days after the IVF, Gemma got a positive pregnancy test. Everybody was delighted with the news. Kitty said, I just actually couldn't believe it. My husband was in absolute shock. I cried my eyes out and he just sat there and said, I think I'm going to faint. Kitty and James supported Gemma for the whole period of her pregnancy. Kitty recalled, Gemma had a massive craving for jalapenos. She couldn't get enough of them, so I bought her a massive jar. And she suffered quite badly from morning sickness, so... We would go down on weekends and take her children out and go to the park or go to Sunday lunch. Other than the 20-week scan, we've been to everything. We've seen Gemma and her family every couple of weeks except during the middle of lockdown. I sent her a text every day, just like you would with any friend, but she's got your baby inside her as well. We were there every step of the way. Gemma never had to make any decisions about him without us being there. The three came up with a decision to have a water birth at Gemma's home and Kitty delivered the little boy on her own. Kitty happily remembered, All I could think about was, I'm about to become a mom, but there was hope at the end of it. It was all perfect, the most textbook calm birth that's ever happened. It was amazing. I was in shock for the first 24 hours. We knew he was real. We'd seen Gemma every two and a half weeks. He was always real, but to actually have a little baby is amazing. He looks exactly like me too. I wasn't ready for that. 
you just can't prepare for that feeling when you've wanted something so long and it's actually there. He's a little diamond. Now Jasper is one month old and his parents are absolutely in love with him. Being a mom is everything I thought it would be and more, said Kitty. We're a little family unit now and it's amazing that we've got this physical thing, half me and half James, when there was a time we didn't think it would be possible. Gemma carried the couple's baby absolutely for free. She is one of between six and 700 active surrogates helping couples all over the UK make their dream come true. She explained, I love being pregnant. I do pregnancy really well. I find it quite easy and I love giving birth, so for me, for nine months of my life to change somebody else's, that's what I do it for. There's no doubt about it. It was them that made me want to help them so quickly because we had that natural connection. That made it really genuine. The birth was also so perfect. It was so relaxed and calm. James is very, very squeamish, so I got black towels, a black dressing gown, black everything. Kitty got in the pool and he sat behind her and he watched the whole thing. I was so proud of him. Sometimes you meet people and they're just meant to be in your life. Now, even though Jasper's a month old, we still talk all day long. My high will never go and that's what makes it addictive. And we really are best friends.